Hello, my name is Jay and welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. As of me recording this right now, the channel is actually at 99 subscribers, which is pretty amazing. I am super happy about that, as you can probably tell by the tone of my voice. I am super excited that we are at 99 subscribers, which means, you guessed it, in one subscriber's time, we will be at 100 subscribers. Yes, I can indeed do maths. <laughs> as you can tell, I'm a little bit excited. Anyways, I decided to make just this, um, this mini episode showing you guys how I completed the saltwater crocodile habitat directly adjacent to the other saltwater crocodile habitat. Pretty simple build, a lot of what we've already seen in the previous episode, but I thought I'd make an entertaining mini episode while I kind of just talk about the channel and how it's been going this past few months and where it's going to go in the next few months. So, you know, just having a little bit of a chill, casual chat. But yeah, super excited. 100 subscribers almost. I do have a video planned specifically for that where I'm going to be doing a build and I'm going to upload that to the workshop for everyone. I did have a separate idea, which I was going to do initially, which I'm not going to do anymore because someone else has already uh, done something quite similar and I thought, eh, it's no, not really a point in me trying to do that. My initial plan was to actually build the super trees that you see in the Singapore gardens by the bay. If you don't know what those are, uh, just Google super trees and you'll see what they are. They're these really massive structures in their botanical gardens that kind of look like giant trees and they act as massive carbon sinks. It's super cool, it's massive architectural feat. But I was having a look around and um, some people have already done some quite similar builds of the super trees, the super tree grove. So I decided to just do something a bit more chill, a bit more me. So you'll see that when the episode comes around, it's uh, something a bit more chill than that. But hopefully it's enjoyable nonetheless. And yeah, just again, um, I want to just say thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos. It has been really fun making videos for a game that I'm so passionate about and really love. Uh, it's just great because Planet Zoo has been such a brilliant thing for me. It is just a really lovely outlet for me to express my creativity. I feel like I did kind of stagnate with my creativity over university. And then Planet Zoo came out and boy, it's just been like a bit of a catalyst for me to get back into creativity. And I, I just love that. It's meant the world to me. <laughs> and this YouTube channel as well is great because it does keep me motivated. And it allows me to share my work with all of you guys. And it seems that, you know, a decent amount of you actually like it, which is always a good thing. Very happy about that. A lot of people do seem to like what I put on the workshop as well with the builds I do. Alisund has had a really great reception. Boomy Reptile Sanctuary, of course, is what started everything. And that's still getting pretty decent reception. Um, the tutorials that I've been putting out, I put out two of them now. They were getting really good reception, which is kind of blowing my mind. I didn't think I was... Uh, super into making tutorials, but once I got going with it, I realized, yeah, I, I quite like doing this. I like teaching people how I kind of do work in the game and what sort of work I do in the game. So it's quite fun making those and seems like it is helpful for people. So very happy about that as well. The channel is going to pretty much stay quite similar as we go forward. Uh, Boomy Reptile Sanctuary still has quite a few episodes to go, though I am super like anti because I really want to start this new series because I have ideas for it and it's going to be my first really big zoo. So more of a conventional zoo with loads of different types of animals rather than a specific set like how Boomy is all about reptiles and Alisun was just about arctic animals. I want to do a big kind of full-fledged zoo with loads of animals and I really can't wait for that. I also want that to be a bit more realism based. So I, I actually have so many ideas and I really want to start it. But I don't want to leave Boomy Reptile Sanctuary, in, you know, a bit in the shadow of that. So I'm going to try and finish this. But if I do feel like I've hit a bit of a creative block, I will go ahead and start that series, but still keep Boomy Reptile Sanctuary going on the side. Depends how it's going to go. We'll, we'll just see how the next few weeks go. I do apologize as well. I know my uploads haven't been as frequent. That's just because of work. I'm trying to kind of learn to manage my time a bit better. So. Hopefully we're going to see more videos on a regular basis as the weeks go on. And that's kind of me done for this episode. Once again, thank you so, 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 so much for getting me to, you know, 99 subscribers to the channel on 99 subscribers. It's super cool. 
And, you know, like I said, one away from a hundred. Yes, I do feel the need to constantly prove that I can, in fact, do maths. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, thanks so much again. Thanks for watching this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. There's a few cinematics at the end. I will see you all in the next one, where hopefully we'll have reached that number. Bye-bye.